hello everyone welcome back to my channel gems of knowledge so in today's video we are going to study with the exercise 12.3 of the class 9th chapter circles okay so before wasting our time let's quickly move on to the video so before that you know the drill make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new video so here the first question is draw different pairs of circle okay so we need to draw different pairs pairs means two circles okay different pairs of circle how many points does each pair have in common we have to tell how many points are in common and what is the maximum number of common points okay so let's start with the solution here so in the first case we'll draw two circle just a rough diagrams of a circle we will draw okay this is one and this is one so this is a and the center is b now these two circles are the circles which do not intersect each other okay circles do not intersect each other okay so here they have given how many points does each pair have in common so what is the common point here any common point between these two circles no we can write no common point okay so this is the first pair so in the second pair what we will do is we will bring the circles a bit closer so it will be like this so this is a and this is b so you can see here this are the circles touching externally correct no these two circles are touching each other at external point so here you can write one common point correct this is the one common point which in which is touching these two circles externally okay next comes next point you can see uh, we can draw the circle like this okay so this is the center point here this is the center point this is a and this is b now you can say this is the center this is the point which is touching each other both the circles okay so we can say circles touching circles touching internally okay here also you can say one common point okay at the end we can say that two circles are present which are touching each other okay so this is a and this is b so these two circles are touching each other at an you can say here you can see these are intersecting circles so these are intersecting circles and it is having how many common points two common points this circle is having two common points this and this okay so i hope you have understood with the answer here so we'll move on to the next question suppose you are given a circle give a construction to find its center now suppose you are having one circle okay you need to find a construction to find its center you have to show the construction to find its center so let us draw a circle over here it will be okay okay so this is a circle just a rough diagram i have drawn this is a circle okay and you need to show the construction to find its center so this is the circle let me draw two chords just simply two chords this is one chord ab okay and from here i will draw this is one more chord okay this is c and this is d okay this is the second step of the construction now what you need to do is you will keep this point over here and you will cut an arc okay you will keep this point here and you will cut an arc similarly on a point and cross this arc 
again on this point and cross an arc now what you need to do is you need to join this into straight line okay use your scales you need to join this into the straight lines as you can see okay similarly this side you need to do this point again you can see this is one part this is one part by keeping on this point again this is one part and this is one part again you need to join this both the parts okay so what you got this point is nothing but your center of the circle o okay this is nothing but this point is nothing but called as center of the circle o okay this is how the construction okay so the next question you can see so the last question as you can see if two circles intersect at two points now these are the two circles which are intersecting at two points a and b so what we need to do is we need to prove that their centers the centers of these two circles lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord now this is the common chord and they lie at the perpendicular bisector means they lie at a 90 degree from here and at a 90 degree from here we need to show this okay so in the answer what we will write is let us consider two circles okay consider two circles with center with center o and o dash okay both intersecting each other both intersecting or or intersect each other at a and b okay at this two points they are intersecting each other that is a and b now what we will do is a small construction we will do that is join ab we need to join this ab okay after joining we will get that ab is a chord okay ab is this ab is chord for this circle also and it is chord for this circle also okay now therefore perpendicular bisector of ab r o and o dash both this points are the perpendicular bisector for this line ab okay if these two are the perpendicular bisector and it is passing through o and o dash then we can say that the center of the circle also lie on the therefore center of the circle also lies on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord that is the of the chord ab so we can say that if this is perpendicular bisector then we can say that these center points o and o dash also lie on the same chord a and b that is what we need to show here okay so i hope you have understood with this the third exercise is completed here if you are having any doubts here regarding this you can comment me down below so i'll be back soon with the next video so till then stay tuned and stay connected don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you